hello guys welcome to the c programming tutorial in previous lecture we have discussed about the for loop and its implementation in the counting print the counting number in this lecture we will also see the implementation of for loop here we will calculate the factorial of number first of all how how to calculate the factorial of any integer what will be the logic that we i will see and after that we will see and we will write the code for it first of all how to calculate the factorial of any number that is suppose n is an any number and i have to calculate factorial then its method is n multiply n minus 1 multiply n minus 2 multiply n minus 3 up to what the value of n minus n min become 1 means the value of n minus this term become 1 if this term becomes 1 that will that multiple will be factorial of a number suppose I have to find the factorial of a number 5 then 5 multiply 4 multiply 3 multiply 2 multiply 1 up to 1 then this is the method to find the factorial of a number but we have to see in our program and uh, for what we will we have to do to calculate the factorial in a simple approach we will think that suppose any number that is 5 then we will write the 5 multiple of 4 3 2 and print the result but what then user will, will give number 10 then we have to write 10 multiply 9 it's not possible to always write uh, such a long code and I don't know what the user will give so we have to use for loop and you will see how it will work so, so first of all we'll declare some variable any number n clear the screen and ask the user for the number and number should be what any integer positive integer number the number should not be negative enter positive enter positive number then scan the number and store it in address n you will check if the number is negative for negative it should be smaller than 0 here we will print no negative number is allowed if this will not ha happen then what we will do we will write else else now our code will be written for finding the factorial of number then we will use for loop for what from where to where from i is equal to 1 to i should be smaller than and equal to what n number and i plus plus here what we will do in first iteration i is equal to 1 or why i write this why I written this because from i is equal to 1 here suppose to calculate any calculate factorial of number 5 what is the correct answer 1 multiple 2 multiple 3 multiple 4 multiple 5 this is our approach first of all value of i will be i 1 that is 1 and after that in second iteration it will be 2 by the increment operator 
and after that it will be 3 by the increment operator and 4 and 5 and when it will become 5 its condition will satisfy and when it will become 6 the condition will not satisfy and it will come out of the loop so it, this uh, statement is perfect for this factorial so here I will write the code what any number results suppose here once more I have to declare result equal to 1 now why I do, will do that result is equal to result multiple i and what's its meaning first iteration value of i is 1 and also here I explained I declare the variable result and assigned a value 1 to it so in first iteration the value of result will be 1 multiple 1 what 1 then in first iteration the value of result will be 1 in second iteration the value of result will be what the value of i will be 2 here the value of i will be 2 and the value of result in previous iteration was 1 so 2 multiple 1 that is 2 2 will store in result and once again this loop will continue and the value of i will become 3 here value of i will become 3 and in previous iteration value of result was 2 so 3 into 2 6 this time value of result will be 6 so and in next iteration the value of result will be 4 and here 6 6 4 24 and 24 will be stored in the result and we have to take care that a result here I write result at two side means this left hand side result of the left hand side contains the value of result from previous iteration and that value is stored is assigned to the this result and the, each time the new value is assigned to the result and we have to always to take care to be a good programmer we have to take care about data how data flow how data is assigned how data is compared so this will print the find result so here print the result I will write result is percent d comma what I will print result so it's fine here no error oh sorry there is error that's mistake yes no error and run the program and suppose any 5 result is 1 to 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 yes correct uh, factorial of 5 is 120 and next suppose 4 that is 24 that's fine this is working well so guys thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and like this video thank you guys